to measure an angle. Usually we use the protractor to, to measure an angle. Angle is nothing but joining of two rays having a common point. So we, we use protractor to measure an angle. This is called protractor. We have 180 degrees and this it starts from here, then 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. This is called 90 degrees perpendicular. And then 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. So this is half of the circle. 180 degrees we have in this. So we use protractor, this protractor to measure an angle. For example, we use this and here we count here the ray is present on the right hand side of the path. So the center of the protractor, we need to take it on this point. We keep it on this and here we can observe there is no ray on the left hand side. There is ray present on the right hand side. So we count from the right hand side path now. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 degrees. So this is 50 degrees. This is the way to, to measure the an angle using protractor. So we have different types to measure an angle. So we can compare two angles with the different types. So comparison can be done by observation, uh, by measuring, by tracing, by measuring. By measuring, we take the protractor and uh, we measure two angles. For example, this is one of the angle and second angle is this one. AOB and COD. AOB and COD. Two angles. So let us measure this angle, first angle. So we keep it the center of the protractor at O and uh, let's increase this ring because we need to check what is the angle here. So the center of the protractor is placed on the, the center O, the point O. So we can observe this ray here. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 65. So this is an angle of 65 degrees. Let's go to the next angle. And uh, this is here. We place it here on the base of this. So when we start from here, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 150. It's on 150 degrees. So by measuring, these two angles, we can say that angle C O D is greater than angle A O D. Angle C O D is greater than angle A O D. So this is this is the uh, this is the measurement. This is the comparison of angles by measuring using protractor. So by observation, we can see the angles. This is an acute angle and this is right angle. You can see this is an acute angle is less than a right angle. By observation, this may be 60 degrees. So by observation we can say that right angle is greater than 60 degrees, acute angle. And uh, let's take another example. Is 
So if two actual triangles are present, for example, this is one of the angle and the second angle. Let's draw here. This both are actual triangles only, and this time, in this type of method, we can say that this angle, this one of the angle, AOB and COD. BOC and BOC is greater than AOB by observation we can say this this angle is greater than BOC is greater than AOB so this is the comparison of two angles using observation method and uh, just now we have discussed about the measurement uh, by measuring an angle uh, by measurement using protractor by tracing and uh, we use the trace paper to measure an angle. Let's draw an angle on your trace paper and uh, we draw another angle on another trace paper and just you balance, just you keep one of the trace paper, one of the angle trace paper on another. So by this we can understand which is by this we can see that which angle is greater. Let's re let's recall we have drawn two types of angles on two trace papers so we get one on each other then we can observe that which angle is greater so by this what we understood is uh, by tracing paper easily in this method we can observe which angle is greater so to now we have learned about measuring an angle and uh, comparison of angles that uh, by observation and by measuring actually with the protractor and by tracing. So let's discuss about types of angles. We have different types of angles. That is acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, and reflex angle, complete angle, zero angle. And these are the types of angles. So let's discuss briefly about these all the angles. First, acute angle, the angle which, which measures less than 90 degrees, we call it as acute angle. Angle which is less than 90 degrees. And greater than 0 degrees. The angle which measures, the angle which measures greater than greater than zero degrees and less than ninety degrees, we call it as acute angle. For example, the acute angle will be this form. These are the types of acute angles, which is less than ninety degrees and greater than zero degrees. Right angle. The angle which measures exactly 90 degrees Exactly 90 degrees we call it as right angle This is measured in 90 degrees exactly Example for right angles, obtuse angle, the angle which measures greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, we call it as obtuse angle.
exactly 180 degrees they call it as straight angle for example this is straight angle all the kinds of straight angle let us go to the reflex angle the angle which measure greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees we call those angles are reflex angles let's recall the angle which measures greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees we call it as reflex angle let's draw this, this angle is measuring more than 180 degrees but it's less than 360 degrees so this angle is reflex angle let's go to the next one that is complete angle the angle which measures exactly 360 degrees we call it as complete angle let's, let's start drawing an angle and complete one rotation and we call this angle as complete angle this is 360 degrees exactly so this is called as complete angle let's go to the zero angle that is the angle which measures zero that means the angle is not formed at all then those kind of angle is called as zero angle let's take off the angle which is less than 90 degrees and greater than 0 degrees we call it as acute angle and the angle which is measuring exactly 90 we call it as right angle the angle which is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees we call it as obtuse angle and straight angle which measures exactly 180 degrees so reflex angle which measures greater than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees and uh, complete angle the angle which measures exactly 360 degrees we call it as complete angle if angle is not formed and we call it as zero angle so these are the types of angles we have discussed